Hi, this video is the art of hair transplant restoration surgery on a client with a class 3 hair loss pattern. He has a receding hairline and he's not only have a hairline receding but his tempo has gone back a little bit. So our goal is to uh, not only lower the hairline down but bring in the tempo as well. And uh, if you just blow the hairline with bringing the tempo then you, you have a wide forehead. Yeah, you have some hair but it's still a little off. Hair transplant, um, the density is dependent on the surgical skill of the surgeon. The naturalness is dependent on the artistic skill. Uh, it's the whole art form to uh, restore the hairline. It's very difficult to do. But when you pay attention to all the artistic and aesthetic detail, the result is going to be very natural. And it had to be proportional. On the mid eyebrow to the hairline for Asian and Black is around six and a half to seven centimeter. For Caucasian, is around seven and a half to eight and a half. And for uh, Hispanic, it could be as low as six and a half, and can be high as, as eight and a half. So somewhere in between, as long as overall proportional to the overall face from the mid eyebrow to the hairline is a third, Michelabella, Michelabella to the tip of the nose a third, tip of the nose, bottom of the chin is a third. So when you have that, um, and then it is is the whole symmetry, then it bring. Um, and, and then now we focus on the eyes instead of the other part. And then the more narrow the face, the more arched back the hairline is. The more round the face, the more flat the hairline. So his hairline arch up. And then the temple. For Caucasian men, it's most acute back wear. For Asian men, it's a little bit less. And black men actually perpendicular like this. And for women, actually pointed forward. Uh, for this client, he actually had quite a bit of residual hair right here too. And so he's thinning this part. And what we do, we just increase the density here. And when we do that, um, it actually uh, makes the forehead smaller. And then once we get the shape down, we try and plan a very precise angle of 35, 45 in the front. Increase when you go backward and changes when you go different direction. As you can see, the side is more flat and backward. But the, on the top of the side, it's pretty much flat like this. And eventually, it starts turning and it point forward that way. And again, most of the time, we follow the natural hair angle that, of an individual because, you know, not everybody going to follow exactly within the normal bell curve uh, shape and angle. And so we just follow that. Now, not, not only the precise angle is important, selection of hair graphs is important. We try to plant rows and rows of single hair graft in the front to make the hairline very soft and natural, followed by root growth two hair, three hair, and four hair in the back for bulk and volume. The goal in the back is volume and density. The goal in the front for softness and naturalness. And the angle for the temple, again, is very flat and pointed backward. And this client, we're going to do at least 2,500 graft because it's very deep all the way in. If you can turn this way for me, you see it's gone back quite a bit up, so it went really high up. So normally like this, it's around 2,000 graph at least. And then once you do the tempo, you're going to bring up to around 2,500. And so we're going to build like an inch and a half to two inch band uh, and half here. And then bring in the tempo as well. So this is the RF hair transplant restoration surgery using the FUE method. And FUE is the most advanced technology available and the least invasive of the two when it compared to your strip method. If you leave your minimal scar, allow you to shave your head shorter. The strip method will leave your linear scar running from one ear to another ear. I do both FUE and the strip method. The FUE is for mild to moderate hair loss like this client. The strip method is for a patient with advanced hair loss. When you lose all your hair on top and you need to move five, 6,000 graft per day, then the strip method can uh, uh, be used and more advantageous than FUE in that sense of moving a large number of graft. And it grow five to 10% better. Both of them, you're gonna have excellent results no matter which method. Uh, and the, the strip method, uh, unfortunately, leave you a linear scar and you cannot wear your hair short. Uh, the FUE is more advanced and less invasive and less side effect, and it works very well for mild to moderate hair loss. And well, I do both, and it's really depend on individual. And this is the art of hair transplant on a client with a class three hair loss pattern. Thank you.